I don't know if anybody remembers this car, but it was here about a year and a half ago. And it's back. I did a whole shit ton of work on it. Then um, motor, tranny, whole front clip swap, rear end, suspension work. Nothing you can see. So um, it's a 51 Nash Ambassador. And it's like got the crazy no front fender wells. Uh, anyway, today I'm building a visor for it. I have a visor for my car, for my Pontiac. I told that guy, no way, you can't have it. I'll make you one, though. No. Uh, so stick around. I'll show you how I did it. Well, I'm fortunate to have a uh, sun visor off my 1950 Pontiac that I have removed because I'm waiting for my windshields. So even if it wasn't removed, I could use it. And I actually put it on this car and it fits just about perfect. So I'm going to use that as a template. All I did was I found center. I marked center. And I used a piece of cardboard. Like so. I laid it on there, clamped it on, and just traced around the outside. I marked that. I laid the center on first, obviously. Marked around the outside and made a template for half. So there's that. Good job. Uh, and then I took my steel 18 gauge cold roll. I drew a center line on it. And then basically just laid that on the center line. I left 5 eighths top and bottom or whatever all the way around the edge. Like so. Um, it ends up like this. And then I cut it out with my nibbler, and you can see I've got a, not a perfect cut, but put the flap disc to it, right back. Okay, so I've got this all, I took the flap disc to this, and made it fairly smooth, as smooth as I could all the way around, so it's a nice continuous curve, not a bunch of jigs and jags. Um, speaking of jigs, I want to put two lines on here. First one is at five eighths of an inch from the edge. Second one is about an inch and three quarters, I believe. So there's like an inch and an eighth in between there. Uh, reason is, uh, one line, I will have a step die on the bead roller. One of these guys to make a small step. And then after that is done all the way around, I will run the hemming die, or the, sorry, wow, uh, this tipping die along that outer line. And that's where this visor will fold over and that'll create the very edge of it and give it some depth too. And uh, to do that, uh, speaking of jigs, I made a jig. And all I did, I just tacked a piece of round bar onto a piece of flat bar and then laid out my two centers. And that way I can just run this along there, run my Sharpie in the hole, and that'll give me a pretty good line. You could do it two ways. You could not give a shit about this outer perimeter and just have it rough and make your layout really nice. But I just chose to do it this way. And I would make the outer perimeter nice and use that as, as a template for making my, my layout lines. And it works really well. So uh, let me get that done. We'll get those lines done all the way around this other side here. And uh, check back. Okay, I'm back. I've got the lines all the way around. I put a radius on this step die line because that'll be a continuous line all the way around. And it'll give us a look similar to the factory one, which is this here. And we're just doing a step around here. It's kind of this, this raised part here, but uh, it won't be identical, but it's going to be awesome either way. Um, the other thing about this nice little jig here is... 
I ran this through the English wheel just a couple times. There's a slight rise on that material, so I've stretched it a bit. If you don't have one, don't use one, obviously. Um, if you have one, use it. It comes out a little bit flatter if you use it because you pre-stretched the material. Um, with this jig, though, sometimes when you use the English wheel, your line will get rubbed off. I, it's Mine's pretty good because I went pretty easy on the English wheel. But if your line gets rubbed off, you got this guy. Bang. Everything's nice and uniform. Super quick. Easy to make. Two holes. Couple tacks. Done. So I'm going to get to bead rolling. I'm going to put this step guy on because uh, this tipping die is for later. So I'll start that and you can come and look. It'll seem like one second for you, but it'll be more than that for me. Probably like an hour. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I've got some bead rolling done. I did my step roll. That's that's my stop start. Um, it came out pretty nice. And then what I did was I did one pass top and bottom with the uh, tipping die. And put a pretty good kink in it. I know it's starting to look like a visor, but it's actually upside down. So what I'm going to do right now, you can see it's doing this here. So I've got to shrink this all the way around. So I've got the shrinker stretcher somewhere right there. I'm going to go around this and I'm going to shrink both sides. And uh, see what happens. It should flatten this out. And if I go more with it, it'll go the other way. But I just want to flatten it out for now. And I'll, I'll figure out my angles and my bends in this part last i just want to get this this kick on the side so i'll go around i'll shrink or stretch or that mostly shrinking and it'll take up that excess material and it'll probably flatten out so let's see what happens i'm going to get to it shrinker stretcher combo man's best friend uh so I've hit it with the shrinker, and not only did it flatten out, but it's got a bit of a curve the right way. So that means we're making good progress. Let's flip it over. This is this is the outside. So that's kind of how it's supposed to look in the end, generally. But I've still got to get this band here down to a 90. So I've got a little ways to go. Um, I could shrink it a little bit more and then I built this dolly that I've got clamped in the vise so I can roll it over there and hammer, hammer, hammer. And uh, so it's just a matter of uh, shrinking it, hammering it, shrinking, hammer, shrinking, hammer, shrinking, hammer until I'm crazy, uh, crazy-er, I guess. I'm already halfway there. So um, it is, what time is that? Oh, you know what time that is. Bow time. I might pick this up tomorrow. I'm making progress, though. It's looking good. Well, I took this thing out of the vise and just clamped it to the table. Seems more logical. It works better. Anyway, this thing is almost flat. I mean, give or take. It's not perfect, but I'm not looking for flat anyway. So, that was just shrinking around the edge and hammering on this dolly it's not perfect we can still do better but for starters that's a good start it almost looks like what it's supposed to be um so in the morning i will hammer and dolly some more and start work with the shrinker and give it the shape that it wants to have, that I want to have it, I mean. And make it look like that shape. We're almost there. See you tomorrow. Okay, well, I'm back. I spent uh, probably two hours um, just playing with this, with the shrinker stretcher to get a nice profile and it turned out really nicely 
Um, on this side, I've already done the other side. I cut out the end because I had left extra material and I'm going to make a nice radius there and bend this piece in and this piece in and then it will look like it does on this side if you can see that. It's got a nice little bend there because I want to keep it inside the profile of the width of the car. So, uh, shrinker stretcher, shrinker stretcher, uh, lots of back and forth, um, kind of a pain, but that's how you get what you want and it's not going to be quick or easy, but it's going to be really nice. So I'm going to finish this up. I'll tack this all the way around, weld it, grind it off, make it beautiful, and then I'll put it on the car and um, start fabbing some brackets. So uh, we're making progress. Okay, well, this is uh, the end of day two. It's pretty much done. Uh, as you can see, I finished off those corners and I've got it tacked onto the brackets. I'll have to pull it off. So just made some brackets like that that will attach to the body. There's one up there for the center one and same as this on the other side. And it's it's solid as hell right now, even though it's only just tacked. So um, I'll pull that off. I will um, weld it, buff that all up, and then we're gonna check back and it's gonna be done. There it is, that's it, it's done, it's all on there. Um, it was a lot of work, but it came out really nice. And I've got three mounting points. I got one in the center. And that way this thing is solid, not going anywhere. I don't know if this car can ever do like 120 miles an hour, but if it could, that ain't going anywhere. I think this thing does go pretty good actually, so. Nice to know that we're secure. Anyway, uh, I think it looks way cooler. And um, I kind of always wanted to build one anyway. So, uh, neat little project. Don't forget, like my video, subscribe. Bessie Custom Fab, rock and roll.